beast from the east for, forecasters warn of two more Arctic blasts to come, at Easter and then in April. Forecasters have predicted spring will be put on hold with no sign of sunshine or warmth for the foreseeable future. Forecasters are warning there could be two more Arctic blasts to hit Britain, at Easter and then again later in April. The UK has been left shivering over the past few weeks as freezing snaps have crippled parts of the country with heavy snow and sub-zero temperatures. The first of these sub-zero spells was dubbed the Beast from the East, and was followed by a second, mini-beast last weekend. The bitter Siberian air triggered widespread travel chaos and numerous severe weather warnings. And now it is claimed these conditions could continue until May. The third beast is being threatened with warnings of a white Easter. Some forecasts predict a blast of bitter air from the Arctic sweeping through Britain during the run-up to the holiday as high pressure builds north of the country. This could allow icy, cold winds to plunge across the UK with the chance of snowfall for the third time. And a fourth beast could be headed our way before the end of April. Despite conditions turning milder this week, Spring looks set to be put back on hold by next week with no sign of any prolonged periods of warmth and sunshine for the foreseeable future, the Weather Channel claims. According to some long-range forecast models, temperatures are expected to remain below the seasonal average across northern Europe over the coming months with risk of snow. Forecaster Amy Hodgson, of the Weather Channel says the chilly outlook is still in response to the sudden stratospheric warming event and polar vortex split which took place back in February. She added that the extended cold period is caused by high pressure blocking warmer air from sweeping across the country from the southwest. She said, for April, we expect temperatures to remain below normal across northern Europe. This is still in response to the sudden stratospheric warming event. SSWE, and polar vortex split which occurred back in February. Research by Dr. Todd Crawford, chief meteorologist at the Weather Channel, shows that these events can lead to prolonged cold weather and a negative North Atlantic oscillation 30 to 60 days after the initial split. Bitterly cold winds from the east and northeast normally dominate during a negative North Atlantic oscillation phase. This could mean one more beast from the east could occur before May as dry and cold conditions take charge under high pressure throughout much of April. He said, as we head into April, most computer forecast models suggest we will get at least one more big cold spell before the blocking pattern fades, with warmer and wetter weather confined to parts of southern Europe. However, there could be some improvements with a spell of warmer weather in May and the mercury rising to around average by June. He added, for May, we are forecasting above normal temperatures for the UK to western Scandinavia. Forecast confidence lowers further on, but there is however the risk that below normal temperatures could linger into May. The most recent sub-zero freeze, nicknamed the mini beast from the east, dumped as much as 30 centimeters of snow in parts of the UK, just weeks after the first Siberian blast brought most of the country to a standstill in February. Heading into the bank holiday weekend next week, high pressure to the west and low pressure in the east could push cold Arctic air down towards the UK during the Easter holiday. Forecaster Katie Greening, of the Weather Channel said cold polar air is expected to spark a cool period across Britain from the end of March into the beginning of April. She said, snow in April? Yes, correct. It'll become unsettled with temperatures set to lower once more and precipitation falling in the form of snow over northwestern and central Europe. Martin Bowles from the Met Office also said April is expected to be chilly. He said while cold temperatures will hit the east weekend coming from the North Atlantic bringing some snow and frost, April will be colder than average.